What up, homies? So guys, <laughs> we're about to go fishing at the old famous spot where we got conquered last time. We got a thousand views on that video, so we figured out we might as well go get one for you guys. Anyways, it's freaking early, not even seven o'clock yet, but we're gonna get there so we don't miss all the fish. Peace. <laughs> So we pulled up to the spot and there's a little more kelp than usual. So I think we're gonna go over to the next spot and check it out. I don't think we can get fish this stuff, but I don't know. Worst case, we're going to the old trusty rat beach, I guess. All right, so we moved to a different cove, like right down the street. This one looks like a little bit more of a mission to get down. I don't know, Jason said it looks a little easier, but boy's not very good on the hill mountain. Anyways, I forgot the plan, but we're going down. I'm putting this away so I don't break it. This spot we were fishing is wild. Look at that, we got little fish right there by that rock. We got sea anemones everywhere. Let me pan out, you can see we missioned down this huge cliff around the bend. Now we're on like a little peninsula thing. Check out this side. That's where we're fishing. Look at all those little fish in there. But that's where we're fishing at. Not in this hole, but off this cove. There's like a three foot deep pool right next to where we're fishing. So you could say this is usually underwater. All right guys, so we're in the sketchiest fishing spot ever. Probably only gonna be able to fish here for a couple hours. But we're gonna catch something. Oh yeah. So check out this bait we got rigged up. Alright, so what we got here is two Carolina keepers and a four ounce just slider weight with some beads. Um, so it's pegged right here and then we have this, I think it's like an owner beast hook and just a whole market shrimp. I'm gonna throw that out there, see how it goes. We got it on this long 10 foot rod. All right, so if it was a little hard to hear, an owner beast took a four ounce weight with a full market shrimp on it. We got it fresh from the Korean market yesterday and it's a 10 foot rod. So we're gonna throw it out there real quick and see what happens. That's the money shot, baby. That's why it's hard fishing over here. You can see that pole behind Jason. It gets pulled down by the waves. So it looks like you're getting a bite all the time, but you're not. This is gonna be our second rig for the day. We got the, that mooch rig going again. Kind of the same thing, but this time, as you can see, this wrap goes all the way down the shank of the hook and it has a little, I made a bait keeper out of the line. It wraps around and it'll hold it in place. So. For that one and then this one's just hooked on there regularly like that and then we have another four ounce pyramid sinker to a swivel and a bead with a swivel off the main line here so it can go up and down a little bit and again they're both kind of in this you want them in the same same length here so that you can cast a little further and that's about it going to be GoPro from here on out guys. I'm putting this camera away because I don't want it to get broken. But there's Jason right there getting ready to cast out the old shrimper. We're going to put on squid but they have to defrost a little bit. Catch you in a little bit. Hopefully if we get some or else we're going to go to a new spot if we're not too tired. Boom. Let's see Jason cast it out right here. Woo. Later. All right, guys, we hooked up on something. It's gonna be interesting to reel it in here. It's still on, but we'll see what happens. It's still on, bro. All right.
I don't know if it's still on. Oh yeah, it is. Dude, I can't believe it, bro. It's a little calico. Oh, watch out. No, no. I need to angle it. I need to go over there. Oh, he's going into the rock. I got him out. It's a goodie. You can flop him. That's like Hang on, hang on. Got him, doggy! We got this guy! Hell yeah! That's a nice one. Dude, that's a nice C. Here, I'm gonna go get the other camera. I can't believe that, bro. Oh. Alright, guys. We finally got a freaking fin guy, dude. Look at that. We got a nice little calico. Uh, freaking. You wanna hold him up? We got it on this street. Oh, I'm going down in the puddle. Oh, my shoes are all wet again. I don't care though. All right, so we got him on this 10 foot rod. Look at that guy. We had to fight him out of the weeds. Got it on GoPro. I don't know how good it's going to look, but we got him out like right over here, right on the other side of these rocks. I'm going to get a picture and we're gonna let that guy go look at that look at those little teeth in there we're gonna cutting open my finger there he is we're gonna try and get the release on film but I don't know how good that's gonna look we're letting this go I'm gonna try my best to do it nice but it's not probably not gonna be that good off the rock <laughs> Ready? yeah oh gave him a little belly flop but he's all good <laughs> That was crazy, I can't believe we got that. Right there. What, what, what right. is this, like a light? All right, so we got like a 10 foot, um, like inshore surf rod basically, it's from Europe. Jason's brother let us borrow it. We got like a four ounce like egg sinker, whatever you want to call it, barrel sinker. And then we got this huge extra wide gap. It's a owner beast, I think it's like an 8-0 or something. Yeah, like an 8-0 owner beast. And we had a squid on there, a full squid. You can see he got half of it. Got a nice little lunch and we casted it out right out at that rock and we reeled it in a little bit so we caught it somewhere like half in there and this 60 pound braid yeah 65 65 pound braid did work guys i'm telling you all the bass fishermen say it and we we pretty much do a little bass fishing and this is like a little mojo rig set up basically for saltwater fishing and this uh, braid there got it through the cup like nothing. So hopefully we get another one now. Look at that dope little Hawaiian snail thing. Too scared to touch it though. Might stick us so we die in nine seconds. This is proof that we just put in mass work to get a fish. You can see Jason right there. It's a pretty steep climb to the top there. I don't even remember how we got up, but uh, we're gonna have to trek this. This is where we were. We got one nice calico. I think uh, next time we're gonna try and throw it in this little sand bed right here in the middle of the screen. Next time we come back here and try it out. This is where stuff gets tough. Gotta go straight up the old mountain. Came from down there, over there even. Shoo But we got a fish, that's all that matters. Woo Real proof that we do whatever it takes to get bit. Back to where we started. Made it up the top. How'd you like that, bro? Pretty, pretty fun. Got that one fish, it was all worth it going up this hill. Gotta get that exercise in anyways. <laughs> so yeah, we're not gonna do this all the time, but every once in a while we like to go to new spots and trek around. We might do a little mountain climbing and see if we can get bit. And today it just happened to work out, so we got a thousand likes in that video. We decided to come out here, give it another go. And we got them this time, boys and girls. Check it out though, we in wonderful Palace Verdes. Look at these houses on the cliffs. In their front yard. Nice fishing grounds. I wish we could live in a spot like this, but we're like a 20 minute drive, so it's all good. We always forget to film an outro, but we remember this time. We had a grip of fun, did some crazy adventure, and got a little calico bass. That was a good one too, nice size. A bunch of 
nice little fat belly on him. Yeah, we forgot to weigh it, but we got a scale. Next time we'll weigh him. We'll be back here for sure. Yeah. Anyways, all right, fish homies. Peace out. Yep.